the German Shepherd. With handsome, noble good looks, the German Shepherd was the original canine movie star. Pal, what are you doing here? But from the silver screen to silver stars, German Shepherds lead the way Nothing as police there, right? dogs. Experts estimate the breed accounts for over 8,000 deputy what? dogs. German Shepherds are just fearless. I mean, they would be the first dog to take a bullet for you. To members of our military and police force, German Shepherds, like Officer Hogan's canine, Dasty, are more than a dog. I consider Dasty a police officer. He's actually asked to do more than I am sometimes, and he puts himself in great danger. German Army Captain Max von Stiefenitz first registered a German Shepherd in Germany in 1899. The dog was the result of careful breeding to develop an ideal service dog. The captain's motto was utility and intelligence. Arguably the most versatile of all of the working breeds. But Hollywood loved the handsome breed, and the German Shepherds pawed their way onto the silver screen. If you think of Rin Tin Tin, everyone relates to him, how um, intelligent that dog was. When Rin Tin Tin first premiered in silent films in the 1920s, he received over 10,000 fan letters a week. They're very athletic, extremely intelligent. You can train them to do almost anything. The German Shepherd is bred with versatility, beginning with a double-layered coat. They have a very dense undercoat, so they're a very good all-weather type of dog. Color varieties include the standard black and tan, all black, and in recent years, even white. This breed also has pointed, alert ears, but as puppies, the ears are floppy. And this is actually very close to the wolf. Wolf puppies are born with floppy ears. Check out the bushy, slightly curved tail. There are rumors that occasionally they back cross a wolf into the breed. Dutch breeders did cross wolves into the bloodline in the 1920s, but the resulting dogs could not be domesticated. Yet police are thankful for one wolfy hangover, that long muzzle the better to track you with. He can track, he can do area searches, he can do building searches. The other side of police canine work is suspect apprehension. Cops call this bite work for short. Peter, right there, let me see your hands. Get that dog out of here. In fact, shepherds really enjoy this exercise. Only the most intelligent dogs can attain the impulse control to be effective apprehension dogs. Along with intelligence, German Shepherds have one thing that suits them for this kind of work. Actually, they have 42. The German Shepherd does have one of the strongest bites, and that's probably another reason why police officers use them. With the capability to exert up to 238 pounds of pressure, the German Shepherd has a bite that is second only to the Rottweiler in power. When that jaw snaps shut, the six upper incisors meet the six lower incisors in a devastating scissor grip. Each time you get bit, it's always a new experience. Trainer John Johnson is outfitted in a custom fit bite suit. To protect the trainer, the suit is lined with Kevlar. That's the same material put in body armor. Kevlar can stop bullets, but it can't always withstand razor sharp teeth. Even though you had the suit on, he still gets through it. But the real utility of the German Shepherd to police work is not the fierce bite. It's the discipline to stop when told. This gives the officer an option to use force without using his gun. I can actually call the dog back to me. If I made a decision to use a firearm, I can't call that bullet back. Admired by police for its valor under fire. Big tough police dog, huh? The German Shepherd also forms a close emotional bond with its human handler. They're family. He's your extra set of eyes. And when a loyal partner passes, the force loses both a public servant and a friend. Ask Officer Nichols about his first police dog, the decorated canine Hans. Canine Hans was my first canine partner in uh, late July of 2006. He, um, he get really sick. And, uh, the dog was so stoic that we didn't even, um, realize he was ill. 
until uh, about five days before he passed. It tears you apart. Life does march on, and Officer Nichols' new partner, K-Bar, has some pretty big paws to fill. It was very difficult not to make comparisons, but you know that's part of the process in, in understanding that he's not the same guy and being willing to accept that. The German Shepherd can toe the line with the best of them, but like most working stiffs, he's a big softy at heart. This dog makes a wonderful pet and a loyal companion. Kids sometimes do the heavy hands on the dogs and they pull their tail and bend their ear over, and yet German Shepherds, if it's the family, they understand that. <laughs> Every German Shepherd is unique, but in general, the German Shepherd is a healthy dog, although the breed's body does wear down over the years. German Shepherds are legend for having a hip dysplasia. For grooming, watch out. You will find clumps of fur everywhere. Adaptability is this dog's middle name. You could have a German Shepherd in an apartment as long as you exercise them regularly. The German Shepherd heads the canine list as the number one biter, so early training is important. But with the proper guidance, love, and attention, these dogs make loyal pets. These dogs want to please. They want to please, so you give them the least bit of encouragement, they're going to be all over you and making you a really happy person. The German Shepherd is a loyal, wonderful family dog, but outsiders beware. They're just so protective of what they consider their, their pack or their family. They're terrific family dogs. I mean, uh, husband, wife, two children, f other familiar people, you know, inside the home, absolutely wonderful. But what you have to do if you're going to take a German Shepherd is understand this nervous streak. And you've got to work, I think, even harder um, than with a, a normal uh, you know, a, a normal dog to socialize them. So, and socialization starts right at the very beginning of life. A lot of people fail to appreciate that. It starts as early as two to three weeks of age for a puppy. And the door of socialization and learning not to be frightened of people and develop territorial problems, that, that door is closing at 12 or 14 weeks of age. So if you work very intensely in that so-called critical or sensitive period, you can do a lot to offset the natural genetic anxiety trait. The German Shepherd is very adaptable and generally healthy, but beware of bad breeding. It sheds heavily, is one of the easiest breeds to train, and makes for a great family dog.